Hey guys, I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man The Wily Wars. We're nearing the end of Mega Man 3. Last episode, we took care of uh, the Spark Man, Gemini Man, and Shadow Man level revisits, uh, where we fought the Dock Robots, which were pretty much just the Mega Man 2 bosses. So we got one level left before Dr. Wily's World, or uh, Tower, Fortress, whatever you want to call it. So we're back in Needle Man stage. Get a nice little, nice little uh, sky dark night sky. It's pretty cool. There is a reason why I said uh, you should do this one last. It's not completely necessary what I'm going to be doing, but for beginners, it might be a, a good idea. Alright, so it's pretty much the same as uh, Needle Man's old stage. Just be careful. It's all about timing with the, uh, the needles here. Oops, there we go. Alright, so, up here, first, there we go. Alright, <laughs> up here there's an energy tank. It's relatively early on in the level, so what you can do is go get it with Rush Jet, then uh, purposely kill yourself, and, uh, whee! I don't know why I did that, <laughs> but uh, basically... Uh, in this game and the original Mega Man 3, you don't lose your E-Tanks after getting game over. So you can just get that, get a game over, uh, restart the level, and get another one. You can uh, stock up to a full 9 energy tanks. I'm not going to do that because I don't really need 9 energy tanks. I think I've got 5 right now, so I'm perfectly fine. I haven't used one throughout this playthrough yet, I don't think. So here we go, we got Airman. And... Uh, Airman is a lot easier in this version. I'm just going to check to see what his weakness is in my notes. One second. <laughs> Alright, so he is weak against uh, both the Shark Spot, uh, sp Shark, that Spark Shot, and the Magnet Missiles. But we both know, we all know that the Spark Shot, or the Magnet Missiles don't work really that well in this version of the game. So we're going to use the Spark Shot instead of the Magnet Missiles. Oh, my goodness, I don't think I'm going to make it through this. Oh, am I? Oh, that was, that was masterful. That was good. Mind you, if I'd gone in there with better, uh, better health, I wouldn't have had to do that. But I'm glad I pulled it out. I pulled through. All right, so here we got one of the few places in the game where you are required to, you know, I'm just going to die. I'm not going to make it through that without getting hit again. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the only places you need to get through the game with uh, Rush Jet. So we can grab, the, uh, put Rush Jet on right now. And last episode, I showed you a trick with Rush Jet. As long as you're jumping, whenever you're in the air, you oops, you won't uh, lose Rush Jet energy. So what I like to do is I like to step here. That way, none of the enemies can hit me, and just keep jumping. And that's it. There's a lot of power ups in case you do lose out on the Rush energy. Uh, I like to keep them just in case I die and do this level again. Yeah, just keep doing what I'm doing and oops. Okay, so I guess you can get hit every so often, but not very often. Refill rush jet right here. There we go. And here, uh, coming up, we're gonna have a dang it. We're gonna have a kind of a mini boss right here. I love these guys. Um in the original Mega, uh, Mega Man 3 for the NES, though, these things would, like, rise up from the ground. You couldn't see them. They'd be behind the Earth. And I thought that was a lot more ominous than just kind of having them just be on the screen, like, levitating. I found that, I don't know, it's a little thing. It's a little thing, but you'd think that when they were making this game, they'd notice it. Then again, uh, Capcom has stated that this game was uh, kind of a nightmare to make. They outsourced it, and I guess... Uh, I guess it didn't it didn't really go very well, but hey, whatever. They end up making a good game, so I can't complain that badly. There is another game that they, they actually Capcom has outsourced many Mega Man games, most of them for the uh, Game Boy. Some of them were really good, but uh, I guess the the Game Boy Mega Man Two, uh, Keiji Nafune has gone on record saying that, that was just absolutely terrible. That no one on the staff knew anything about Mega Man, and they just kind of didn't do anything right. There's also a Mega Man game for the Game Gear, uh, which I think is just called Mega Man, uh, even though it's kind of a remake 
of Mega Man 4 and 5, kind of. It's got Mega Man 4 and 5 levels, um, but the game is really bad. It's hard to explain, and if I ever get my hands on it, I'd love to do a Let's Play. Um, well, maybe not. It's, it's, it is really bad, so maybe I wouldn't enjoy that. But, uh, there we go. For example, um, there, there's, there's a Robot Master in every level, even the Wily Fortresses. So the last Wily Fortress level, second level, right before fighting, uh, whoops, right before fighting Dr. Wily is, I think, uh, Toad Man. And you can get his, oh, I'm missing really badly here. And you'll get his Rain Flush, but there's nothing to, uh, there's no one in the next level to use that weapon against, so there's no point of getting it. Wow, I'm missing miserably here. I don't think I'm going to be able to take him out with that weakness, even though it is, he is super weak against it. In uh, the original Mega Man 3 for the NES, it's a lot easier to hit him, but I'm doing really badly. So I'm going to switch over to... Oh, great. Top spin. Uh, that might help. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, well, top spin is a lot easier to hit him with, so I am going to do that. Yeah, I don't know why Hard Knuckle wasn't hitting him. I mean... I guess it just takes a little longer to activate in this one than it does in the original NES version, so that kind of sucks. Alright, round two, Crash Man. Yeah, it's gonna go a lot easier. I still hate Topspin, though. I mean, like, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get hit. It's stupid. Oh, well, he's down. Whatever. Alright, so with that, we're still not going to go to Dr. Wilder's level. I lied. There's still one thing left. Uh, it's very small, though, and that is Breakman. Breakman is Proto-Man. Spoiler alert, it's Proto-Man. But I guess they like wanted to hide his identity or something, so they call him Breakman. Now, I'm pretty certain that the only weapon that you can use against Breakman, yeah, is, is the Mega Buster. And he doesn't have a life bar, so I have no idea how many hits he takes. But he's exactly the same as he's been the entire game. Just take him out. Don't even worry about getting hit. I find this to be a shame. They could have made this a lot cooler. But whatever. It's still ominous. Like, for, for an NES game, you're like, Oh, whoa, who's this guy? And blah, blah, blah. But whatever. There we go. Come on, big man. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my god, like, what is with that weight? Anyway, so here, finally, is Dr. Light looking terrible. Oh no, right after we received the last nothing element, which I guess is what you're doing throughout this game. It's getting elements from the Robot Masters. Wily ran off with Gamma. Now, they explain this in the instruction booklet. Uh, I guess Dr. Wily says he's gone good. Dr. Light believes him because he's stupid. And they're building this gigantic robot called Gamma, which is supposed to be this huge peacekeeping robot. Um, which is kind of funny because it's this gigantic spiked robot. Okay. Uh, and they need the eight elements that I guess they go after and they have to defeat the eight robot masters. And then, you know, obviously, um, Dr. Robot's evil. Or uh, Dr. Robot. Dr. Wily is evil, so they, you know, he betrays them. Um, that's in the original NES instruction manual. Now, with this remake you'd think they would have done something like i don't know explain it within the game's cutscenes or something have an extra little cutscene explaining that because it doesn't make any sense unless you have the instruction booklet which i don't think most people do nowadays so anyways we're at dr wily's fortress i really like this music and uh like most of the dr wily levels you start outside but this one's a little different instead of like climbing the outside of the tower like you do in the most of the Mega Man games. You instead... Go underwater through the sewers. It's a little different, I like that. You can use Rush Marine here, and it's kind of the last place in the game to use Rush Marine, but you really don't need it. I mean, look at this. It's not difficult. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's not difficult. You don't really need Rush Marine there. Uh, no. I could go for an extra life, but I don't really mind. I mean, if you can game over one of these... You start at the, the beginning of the level, not at the beginning of the, uh, of, of the, of the fortress, so I'm just gonna not do that. I 
compared to Mega Man 1 and 2, Mega Man 3's Wily levels aren't really that difficult, I find. Um, there's not much to them, really. And, in fact, some of them are super, super short. You'll see that in the next few levels. For this episode, I feel we're, we're going to do this uh, this level and the next level. And then we'll leave the rest, uh, the rest for the last episode. Here, I'm just going to be cheap with Rush Jet. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, I guess I can still get a hit. <laughs> oh, well. And here we have the annoying... Disappearing blocks. But, as long as you do that, you're safe. <laughs> and that's the end of that level, believe it or not. Pretty short. Okay, and this is, uh... This boss is a little different. It kind of reminds me of that, that, that room that turns into blocks. Uh, in Mega Man 2. This is the, uh... Kamigoro Maker, something like that. Anyways, it shoots out things and you have to destroy them. I like to use Shadow Blade... Because one hit will take it out. I think pretty much every other weapon, uh, they take three hits to destroy. So I'm not even going to bother to put the weaknesses up there because it's, it's I don't know, it's not the same as as other uh, as other bosses. So just use Shadow Blade. <laughs> Everything else. Um, Shadow Blade, Hard Knuckle, and Top Spin. And uh, Search Snake. We'll kill those things in one hit. Everything else will take three hits. And Chuck Spock, or Spark Shot uh, won't work against it. Alright, we got the classic vertical level in the Wily stage. And there's always, usually one that kind of focuses on vertical. And I'm not going to bother getting that. I don't need it. Again, like I've said, you really don't need the one-ups here. Because the levels aren't very long. I mean, I'd say we're about halfway done this level. Just bring the bees back. And there you go. See, I got a one-up anyway. So, it all works out. There we go. Now, just use a uh, Rush Jet here. That way you can avoid the bees a little easier, too. Uh-oh. Maybe not. There we go. And just like this, Rush Jet will still follow you and won't take any energy, so that's pretty cool. And there we go. We got two energy tanks right there. Like, it's like they don't even want us to try. Anyways, that, that's the entire level, believe it or not. We have eight energy tanks. Holy nuts. And we have the return of a fan favorite, the Yellow Devil. He works a little differently in this uh, game, in this version, than he does in Mega Man 1. And at least there's no uh, lag this time, too. He's weak against Hard Knuckle. And he will... Oh, oh, there's the lag. He will always have his eye in the same spot. And you can see it right there. So just uh, be careful. Try to hit it. If you're lucky... Yeah, you can get two hits on him in one round. So that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. Now the lag's going. Oh, well, it makes this whole thing a lot easier. Um, sometimes uh, he doesn't he doesn't form like this all the time. Sometimes he'll form in columns and bounce around. It's a lot harder to avoid. Um, but this this version's so much easier than ow than uh, than the original NES version of Mega Man One. And he takes I think seven. Yeah. Uh, Six hits, I think. Oh, there we go. See, that's the bouncing thing I was talking about. Ow. Should be able to take him here. Come on. There we go. So that was super easy. And you know what? I'm going to do one more stage. Just for the hell of it. Again, the stages aren't long, so... Yeah, I'll do that. I guess that'll make the last uh, the last episode a little short, but I do have all the eight Robot Masters to, re to, to have rematches against and then the ending, so maybe that'll help make it not too, too short. Use Magnet Missile to get rid of this guy. I love Magnet Missile. Rush Coil. Uh, I'm going to take the right side. Why not? I forget which side does what. But, uh, oh, there we go. Well, that doesn't really do much. Just like in Mega Man 1, 2, and 4, 5, 6, and all the rest of them. 
your... Oh my god, here's my ninth energy tank. Already. Whoops. Um, your powers don't get refilled after every level once you hit the Wily Fortresses. So, you know, if you, if you are in need of of some uh, weapon energy, just kill yourself. Uh, it's just going to be a lot easier that way. They do leave a lot of uh, weapon energy out and about, though, so, you know, they do, they do a, I don't know, they do a good job of making sure you have what it takes to continue on, but it's, it's too much. They just make it so easy. Especially compared to Mega Man 1 and 2, yeah. I find they did a much better job in 4, 5, and 6 of making the Wily Fortresses difficult, yet not too difficult. Here, I love these things. This is really cool. I wish they had more rooms like this. That's that's one other problem with Mega Man 3. They, they have a lot of things that are really cool, but that never really come back. Like the top man, little top things, those are just awesome. That's that level. So this next boss is Weekend's Top Spin and Search Snake. We're going to be using Search Snake this time. And uh, this is another Mega Man 1 boss. This is the uh, eight robot, uh, the, the, the robot clones of Mega Man. Now, the reason why I'm using uh, Search Snake instead of... Okay, there we go. Search Snake instead of Top Spin is because you don't know which one the real one is. And Top Spin, you have to get right close while it's with Search Snake. I, oh, there we go. Search Snake, I can just find the one I'm looking for, and then uh, stay away from them. I can just, you know, let, let the snake do its business. Anyways, only four hits with both uh, Search Snake and Toss Spin, so that's insanely easy. The lag doesn't help making it any harder, so there we go. That's it for this episode, guys. We'll be right back uh, next episode, and we'll beat this game. Take down Dr. Wily. See you guys next time. I'm filling the blanks. See you guys next time on Let's Play uh, Mega Man The Wily Wars.